You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. Reach out to me. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be tackling my house after suffering a Christmas hangover. There has just been so much going on with the holidays and my house is a wreck and I feel like we have just been go, go, go. And I am just totally ready to move on from Christmas. I am not meaning to sound like a Grinch by any means, but this year was definitely a challenging one and I'm definitely ready for a fresh start, a new beginning. So, this is actually the day after Christmas. You're watching this a few days after Christmas, but I usually do leave my decor up until New Year's and then I take it down and I'm usually really sad to see it go. But like I mentioned, I'm just so over it and I'm ready to take it down and just live with more intention and minimalism. So today I'm gonna be tackling my house and just getting all these decorations down and getting my normal decorations up. I've missed my house kind of being just what it is after decorating for fall and then moving into Christmas. It's always nice to kind of get your house back to square one. So that's what we are going to be tackling in today's video. So maybe you're watching this because you still have your decor up and you are needing a lot of motivation to pull out everything out of your attic or basement or shed or closet, wherever you keep your stuff, this is definitely the video for you to give you the motivation you need to tackle this big job. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. I would love to hear from you guys down below in the comments. Let me know when you guys take down your Christmas decor. Like I mentioned, I usually leave it up until New Year's, but I've also noticed a lot of people saying over on Instagram that they leave it up until like the first week of January or even mid-January. I've even seen some people leave it up until um, St. Patrick's Day and they decorate their tree for St. Patrick's Day. So I just love to hear what everybody prefers to do or maybe it's tradition or whatnot, but I would love to hear from you guys down below in the comments how long you leave your decor up for. I keep sneaking out at night. As I was filling this tote, I was kind of blowing myself away because I kind of felt like Mary Poppins. Every time I thought I put in a garland or one of like my faux Christmas trees, 
that you see here that it would be full and it just kept going and going and if I had more room I was just gonna keep filling this thing and so I was cracking up because I'm like how much more stuff can I possibly fit in this tote and I got so much stuff in there which is great because the more I can fit into a tote that's less totes that I need to store in my closet area so it felt really good to make the most of this space totally honest I am a little bummed to see my hot chocolate bar come down I love this so much and really look forward to setting it up every year but I am also really bummed because my lid to my gingerbread Ray Dunn canister broke but it was an accident Colton broke it somehow while making a hot chocolate but it is totally fine he felt so guilty I honestly couldn't even be mad about it and it just is what it is so it's so it's totally fine but I'm gonna go ahead and pack up my hot chocolate bar even though I'm sad to see it go but that'll just make me excited again when I set it up next year I saw you from across the room So sadly we did not get to spend Christmas with family. It was just my husband and our kids this year, which is totally not what we're used to. I'm used to celebrating with my huge family and seeing my husband's side of the family and all my nieces and nephews. So I do have some lingering gifts that I still need to get out to everybody, which I'm hoping to see everyone this next week and kind of go around and drop off their gifts and see the faces of my little nieces and nephews light up when they open their presents that's always like my favorite part of Christmas but yeah let me know if you guys were able to have somewhat of a normal Christmas this year like I said it was just the four of us this year but we made an amazing dinner we did a prime rib smoked on our smoker and it was so good and I just cooked all morning so that was a lot of fun but let me know down below if you guys were able to actually be with family this year or if you had to kind of lay low and it was very different this year. I would love to know what you guys experienced. felt really good to have tackled the tree coming down that's always kind of a project and you're never really sure how that's gonna go but I had two trees this year I didn't film the one in the loft but I got that taken down and then I came down and took down this one um, flocking is always messy but honestly look at this this isn't that bad and it's totally worth how beautiful they are so I'm gonna go ahead and get this flocking all cleaned up and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my vac mop and get this all vacuumed up wipe down the baseboards and mop but if you guys are new to my channel i just wanted to let you guys know that we've been in our house for almost three years and we have completely transformed this house i'll have to do a video um, of like an updated home tour and slip in pictures of what it looked like when we first moved in let me know if that's something that you guys would enjoy and i'm only mentioning this is because we do have more projects that we are wanting to tackle here for 2021 we put in a pool a year ago and we still have not finished like the hardscape and landscaping around the pool so that is definitely 
going to be coming in an upcoming video if you guys are into that kind of thing like home transformations um, and then also redoing our flooring down here that is something that we've been wanting to redo since we bought the house um, I have a flooring picked out that I'm in love with so I really want to be sharing that with you guys we want to replace the carpet upstairs just all kinds of projects that we've been meaning to tackle and 2021 is definitely going to be a year that we're going to be tackling some of those so if you guys have not yet subscribed I would love to have you and that way you guys don't miss any of those really fun videos coming up in the future This is the storage closet underneath my stairs where I keep all of my holiday decor. And while I was in here cleaning up, I found some of my old pictures from when Colton was little and me and my husband when we were just newly married and no kids and some of our wedding photos. And it was just fun to kind of look at those for a minute before I got back to cleaning. I just kind of reminisce about the good old days. I miss my babies being so small. Ryland could fit in my husband's motorcycle helmet. I thought that was just so precious. But anyways, I quickly had to kind of move on or I could have sat in there for hours just going through photos. So now I'm really going to kind of speed this along and really get focused because I've been cleaning for about three hours. Christmas decor is down and now I get to pull out a lot of my favorite decorations that I haven't seen in months and I'm so excited to put out a few of my favorite pieces. Here I'm just putting out my wood sign that I ordered from Simply Stained. You can find them on Instagram and I ordered this sign. I love this. I'm really into country music and I love Marin Morris so I got this quote made and I love having it right here by the front door. I also went ahead and lit this yummy candle. It's by the Hearth and Hand line from Target. I can't remember the fragrance, but it does smell really good. And I love having a candle right by the front door. That way it just smells really good, like as soon as you come in the house. And then I'm moving over to my shelving that I seem to always struggle with. So you'll see me put up some decor right now, but it's a good possibility by the next video it won't look anything like this because I'm always changing it. will peep my new ottoman I love it so much I've been looking high and low for a new ottoman for honestly probably around two years and I saw this one in Lauren Yarbaugh's video and I reached out to her and she was kind enough to give me all the details and if I can remember to link it down below I will but this ottoman is from homedepot.com it comes in two different colors I love it it seriously works so well in my house 
but I also wanted to let you guys know that my new dishwasher came in and I didn't hit the kitchen in this video. I just ran out of time, but it will definitely be in next in my next video on Thursday. So definitely subscribe, hit the bell, make sure that you guys don't miss that upcoming video. But, oh, look how sweet my Colty is. I forgot this was in here. <laughs> but please do not forget to subscribe before you leave today. I love you guys, and I'll see you on my video that I put up on Thursday. Bye, guys.